So I'm going to stand here and ask him a couple of questions and then going to talk to his uh, colleagues, his two fellow students. So let's try to be quiet. How are you feeling today, man? What do you want to say to the students of my eleven? Hold on, hold on. We got a, we got another speaker sitting here. What do you want to say to the principal and the staff of my eleven? We're looking forward to uh, going back to school. <laughs> All right, let's give you a round of applause. Thank you. Just really quickly, how much do you love Gamma? How much do you love Gamma? Just really briefly, I have a more deeper question when it comes to gun violence. How much do you love yourselves? Because what happened to Gamma is because of the lack of love that we have. So I'm saying that because we are um, so happy we to show Gamma love, but you need to show your friend love before he shot. You need to show the person who's sitting next to you love before they get shot. And the person behind you, and the person in front of you. I have, I have another, another deeper question, another, another thing I want everybody to ponder and think about a little while. All right, bring it back. Man, that is love. You punch me in the arm. But check it out, because we all know what happened to Gamma, and as we mentioned, he never once said a hateful word to the person who did that to him. Now the question is, sometimes. Somebody might step on your foot. Somebody mess with your girl. Somebody says something about your mom. And all of a sudden, everybody wants to get violent. And all of a sudden, the guns come out. If somebody that like can can get shot and still protect love, you can do the same when somebody steps on your foot. You can do the same when somebody says something about your girl. You can do the same when somebody says something about your mom. So when that happens, think about well, what would Gamma do? What would he do? What would other people do? The, the cycle has to be broken. I'm not as young as I was anymore, so I often think about what can I say to you that you would listen to, but you won't listen to the adult, so hopefully you'll listen to someone who's your age who responded in the way that we can respond so nobody else has to get shot, so nobody else has to respond in violence. We can respond in love. We can respond in a way that will keep the violence away from our community. Let the love circle remain. Let the violence circle be unbroken. And that's the message that we have to have today. If you walk away without that message, then you're really not showing that you love Gamma. And I want to hear y'all say that you really, really love Gamma, yes? Yes! Yeah. you love him as much now? Before I spoke, as you do now, as you love him as much now, before I spoke, you love him before? Yeah. All right. But you got to love him the same, but you got to spread the love around. I'm tired of going to y'all funerals. I'm tired of going to the hospital beds. And I understand the issues. Of, we're trying really hard. But it's tough, man. It's tough for your parents. It's tough for the school. We should be out here celebrating the achievements instead of celebrating people, celebrating people surviving, getting shot. That should not be something normal in our community. And it's up to you to really make a change. I know it's difficult. I know it's hard. I'm not in your shoes anymore. So I can't fully understand what you're going through. But when something happens to you, please try to think of something different that does not lead to someone else getting shot. Peace and love, everybody. Thank you so much. Let's go to our last